John, good morning, first of all. Um, a, a great response for you on on uh, for losing the day, track of the days here on Tuesday night. Yeah, it would have been easy to have moped around, wouldn't it? And, and got a little bit down with the, the FA Cup defeat. But an excellent response that you got from some players as well that have been eager to, to get a chance. Yeah, that's what we wanted. Um, as we've always said that, um, you know, we move on to the next game. You can't do anything about uh, what's gone on. And it's important that the players are in that frame of mind. I know we had a, a majority of the team has changed, but uh, but no, I think, uh, you know, it's once, once a game is done, especially a cup game, um, a priority has always been the league. Um, and so obviously... Going into the Tramia game now, we, uh, we're in a good position. Uh, we've been on a good run in the league. Um, we want to continue that. And have you seen that, the response that you wanted to see as well from the players following last week? You know, the, the, the reaction in the training, the reaction you got from the, the win on Tuesday night as well. There's obviously a bit of evidence of that. But, you know, have you seen that it, it hurt them? And, and in some ways, if it has hurt them, that's what, exactly what you want to see. It hurt them, yeah. But I've watched the game over again, and uh, if, uh, if we'd have played it uh, another ten times, we'd have won. Um, you can't do anything about referees' decisions. The chances that we missed, they had one chance, set it off, and took it. So sometimes it's not meant to be. So we don't dwell on things like that. Uh, the important thing is that we've been playing well, been creating a lot of chances, and as the season's gone on, uh, we've continued to improve and. Uh, Hopefully we can keep keep that going. Well, that's right. If you look at if you look at the form in which the, the club's in at the moment, you know, six wins out of the last nine, four league wins out of the last five. I mean, other than five wins out of the last five, that would be the perfect record. But for you, you must be really pleased with the progress and how things are going at the moment. Yeah, yeah. It's uh it's, you know, things have been going well. So uh um and uh, but we know on Saturday it's gonna to be tough, Tramia since the previous manager's gone, have improved. Uh, they've got one or two players back. Uh, they've got a different way of playing now. And uh, they're going to be a tough team because I think as the season goes on, um, they'll be in and around it. So uh, but every game, as we know, is really important. And as the season goes on, they get more and more, more importance attached to them. So uh, we just hope uh, you know, that that is the case come the end of the season. So, do you scratch that off that game earlier on in the season in the in the trophy match, nil nil at the first home home game of the season, knowing that it's a it's a it's a it is a different sort of side now with a new match? Do you, do you not even look at that and look at the DVD? Do you think, well, this is this is totally different experience for us? Yeah, because our side, uh, I think we've made probably eleven changes for that game as well. So um, no, we'd have no bearing on on the game. There'll be one or two of their players playing. But you'll have no bearing on Saturday. I touched upon the fact that you've got a great record at the moment with four wins out of the last five in the league. I mean, goals win your matches as well, but so does so does a defence. And you look at your defensive record, it's it's the best in, in League Two. How much work have you been putting into that on the training ground? I think it's come not only this season, but from last season as well, where there's not changing uh, too much. Um, the way that we play, um, I think... Uh, the whole team works really hard uh, and that obviously enables us to keep uh, clean sheets. Um, I think if it wasn't for penalties, then, uh, you know, we'd, we'd have even better um, uh, record because um, one of the two of the penalties that we've had against us have been a bit harsh. You've obviously got options there as well. I mean, you've got the injury to James Gibbons at the moment, but with Mitch Clark, Crooks as well, Montano can play in that situation. That must that must really please you and give you a lot of confidence as a manager, thinking that everyone, if they're to step into that position, knows exactly what's expected of them. Yeah, and they're all capable of playing at this level as well. You know, we're not expecting a young lad to come in and we're in the unknown. Um, they're all experienced, and uh, you know we've got you know. Uh, confidence in all of them. They can all do a good job and that's been proven. Shame this week is that uh, Zach Mills has been tested positive for, for COVID. So um, obviously Zach um, hasn't been playing but because he'd been out previous but uh, he's important to us because he can play in numerous positions. So uh, that was a bit of a blow that he was out and wasn't able to play Tuesday. 
and that's not affected anyone else in the in the training camp has it at all that you know everyone's been socially distant away from him that's what we you know we've seen with the importance of that with Devante uh, getting tested then you know obviously we're we're more diligent than ever um, to try and prevent it from spreading so uh, everybody comes in on their own uh, we keep dis a distance as much as we can when we're getting changed and, and then obviously on the training pits you know, at least we're in the open air, so we're doing everything we can to try and prevent it from spreading. Um, but obviously, um, when they're at home, with so, so easily picked up now. Um, but uh, we've we've done well so far. Yeah, it's such a challenge, isn't it, for for every every walk of life, whatever it is, football, any business, and and families. It's just it's just spreading so much now that you you know it's it's gonna it's gonna affect you in some way. Yeah, and it affects, it affects people mentally as well. Um, you know, that's had a big effect on football. And, uh, it's so, uh, in ways that you, 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 don't, you, you don't know um, because it's like with the players, you've you got, you got to parents who might not be so well or, or the children might not be so well and they're frightened to take it home. Um, so it's, uh, it, it does, does affect them mentally. Uh, but we've done really well on that side of it. I, I, that's an interesting point because for you as a manager, you'll have never experienced anything like this in terms of how, in, how to, 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 to lift your players. A, a win in a game of football, we obviously can lift and, and, and inspire. But when players have maybe had a few days off and all they can do is, is maybe sit at home, they can't go anywhere, they can't do the things that they love, their other outside interests, they might come back into work like, like anyone. It is a job after all that feeling a little bit bit down because they haven't been able to to do things that they like doing outside of, of the workplace so have you seen that, that that sometimes that they'll come in and, and you've got to try and lift some spirits because of the situation around the world at the moment I think we saw it early on uh, because they've been out of football for so long and they came back in and it was because it was all new and it we hadn't got that mental, winning mentality that we'd had last season and I felt that for the first four or five games. And, uh, and then, then I felt it around about the Salford game. Um, I just felt as though we were starting to get back mentally. And hopefully that's the case. Um, but uh, the one thing with football is once you're on that pitch and when you're training, you can forget uh, you know, what's going on outside of it. And it, it is a good release. Just, just back to the defence for a moment then. Um, is there a challenge in regards to, like we said, you've got a, a lot of players who can play in those positions. So the challenge is to try and keep all those players happy that aren't necessarily going to be always playing for you. You can't keep them happy. Um, if they're not playing, then, then they're not going to be. And, uh, and uh, I don't expect them to be. All I can be is as fair as I can. Uh, if, they, if they do get the chance and they play well, then there's a good chance they'll stay in the team if, if we're winning. Um, and that's a message to all of them. And we are going to be approaching very quickly the busy Christmas fixture programme. So, you know, games come thick and fast there. For you, it's, it, you want to take advantage of maybe the slower pace of the fixtures right now and, and, and maybe try and kind of use the players that you've got now because you might have to rotate more around the Christmas period. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be... Injuries, fatigue. Um, we have got a lot of games coming up. They, you know, uh, pretty much Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. Um, but uh, no, everybody will be needed at some stage. Um, it's just up to them to to stake a claim when they, when they get into the team. Hopefully, we can keep winning. 